All right, guys, what is going on? We have a, well, we've got a knife here that this is a pre-order of that drops in a couple of days. So I want to get this video out before um, Saturday, July 1st, 2023, the EMP EDC Ronin is dropping. These will be available that Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. These run 325 bucks, and you can get them on the website that will be linked down below. This came to me from Aussie Mike. Well, it came from EP, EMP EDC directly, but this is a pre-order that Aussie Mike did and had them send it to me. So what you get is a nice Cordura padded um, case. You get the knife inside, you get some stickers and the certificate of authenticity over here, as well as a cardboard box and a little plastic baggie if you're into that stuff. So let's talk about it. Mike also bought an extra very cool Timascus clip that we may throw on the knife at the end here. We'll see. I don't know. I do have my, my, my tool out for that. And let's just stay zoomed in. Again, this is the Ronin. This particular one is in LMAX, made in May of 2023. And this is the first run, which is exciting. And that's one of the reasons why Aussie Mike bought it, because it is a first run. And I am all about that too, in general. I do like knives that are first runs. Um, I like it when they're marked somehow, like some of the Benchmades, they say first production actually on the blade. This one, I have not seen anywhere that it's marked as a first run. It does have a serial number inside and maybe they, maybe the first runs got serial numbers and the rest do not. I don't know that answer. It is a front flipper only. I know it has thumb holes, but, but let's talk about it. It is a front flipper only. It is a Tonto. It's very Japanese style Tonto, much like the Shark Nivco Ryu, which my custom Ryu is back at Shark Nivco for spa, where else I would compare this. Um, I love the straight line across the top. I love a good Tonto. It's a hollow grind and a flat grind. Like I said, this is LMAX steel. Deep down in here in the backspacer is where it tells us that this one is number 86, which you're not zoomed in enough to see, but trust me, it's there. And it runs on bearings. It's very smooth. It's broken in a little bit since I've had it um, because I've tried to really kind of break it in. It's a service that I provide. I'm not going to call it a service I provide, but I do, you know, tend to spend some time with the knives that people loan me when they're brand new, especially like I just, I want to get a feel for it and be able to give you my honest opinions. And my honest opinion on this one is I don't really like it. It's a front flipper only in my book. It does have a th thumb hole, but you have to really work to get your thumb in there in a way that it's going to actually work. So it's not a thumb opener. And spidey flicking it, you can maybe get your index finger there. Maybe? Sort of, kind of, no. It, it just, it doesn't work. You may see other videos and other people doing it, but I'm telling you, I'm just an average guy with average hands and it doesn't work for me. The big front flipper tab, sometimes when you're closing it, will get in the way depending on how you're closing it. If you're closing it like just a normal guy, you're going to do some cutting. You're going to kind of go like this. It's starting to get that flipper tab is now rubbing up against my middle finger and my middle finger is sort of stopping it. Depending on where your hand is, the flipper tab gets in the way. 
All right, so what you've got here is all titanium construction. Titanium milled frame, titanium hardware, all T8, which is nice. I like when they have a unified um, set of hardware. That makes things very nice and easy. Some good milling on the inside of the scales. Let's see if I can show you that. Got some milling there on the lock side and then two big grooves on the show side. And then there is the serial number there on the backspacer. Okay. You do have a lanyard tube, a whole, a lanyard attachment area. The milling is really good. The clip really does line up well. The milling on the clip versus the milling on the scales. And the fit and finish on this is really good. We've got some dust on here now, but really nice belt satin finish. I, it, as far as the looks of it and the finish, I, I do like that. The overall aesthetics of it is okay to me, just in general. But it just, it does feel a little weird in the hand to me. Again, guys, a lot of what I talk about is very subjective and my personal thoughts. So closed, you've got four and a half inches. Overall is seven and three quarters, 3.3 nine inch blade. Behind the edge, you have 0 0.017 and 0 0.025, which is very common. When you have a hollow grind versus a flat grind, you're gonna have differences. That's part of the allure and part of the function of having a compound ground blade. Uh, blade Steel's LMAX, <clears throat> as we said, weighs in at 3.6 ounces. Overall thickness minus the clip is 0.497. I think we are gonna take a minute here to change this clip just because the clip comes separate. That was actually a separate shipment and I'm sure a separate price that Mike paid to have that other clip sent out. But I kind of like it. I like I like Timascus in general, as most people know. If you follow my channel, I have some Frank Fishers that are Timascus. I've got some stuff from Red Horse Knifeworks that has Timascus. And I even have my Timascus flashlights from Olight. So I am a Timascus fan. I think that just, to me, it looks a little bit better because it was a little too monochromatic for me. But again, that's my personal feelings. And uh, yeah, so up to you guys. Let me give you a couple of size comparisons really quick before we uh, end this. Since we're talking about Timascus, how about the VC Edge interface number 80, which is a full dress with Timascus lock bar and inserts on the uh, flipper tab. Your Spider Codelica and your Sharpie. All right, let me know your thoughts down below, guys. Please go check out their website if you want more details and information. Um, and these are available in just a couple of days at the time of filming. Thanks a lot, guys.